let us continue reflecting about saint faustina what, what jesus told faustina to do in order to fall in love with him to continue his love continue in holiness and grow in holiness and jesus told saint faustina if you are ever hurt or wounded by others do not think of hurting them back do not think of think of negatively about them but instead think of how to help them the lord says if you ever happen to uh, hurt got hurt by anybody or wounded by anybody do not think of how to react do not think of how to um, revenge but think of how to help them this is a very powerful sentence from saint our lord jesus through saint faustina think of how to help those who hurt you think of how to please them help them console them those who are hurting you because they are hurt only those who are hurt people will hurt others wounded people will wound others if someone hurts you that means they are hurt already therefore do not think of hurting them back but think of how to help them how to help them my dear brothers and sisters i know that it's not so easy to practice but this is what god wants us to practice let us all try our best to practice this how to help those who hurt us how to retaliate with help and support and love that is the retaliation permitted for christians how to help them there are so many people who are attacking the catholic church the catholic church has got the manpower the systemat systematic uh, hierarchy and there are thousands who are ready to listen to the priests and bishops and if they want to attack back to all the media and everything we can easily do but that is not our culture that is not what jesus taught us and that is not how all the catholics are trained for we are trained to forgive we are trained to love we are trained to adjust we are trained to face abuses we are trained to listen all negative things but still give back positive we are trained to carry the crosses that is why very easy to attack the catholic church by anyone and anybody can wound the christians and catholics because we are trained to carry the crosses daily our leaders never led us in the wrong paths our bishops and priests always speak about love and forgiveness and therefore we can't think of otherwise therefore my dear brothers and sisters let us be happy about this character that we christians have and now let's practice it in our daily life not only as an institution not only as a church but also as individuals we should show the same christian ideology in our family to our friends and relatives or our community members and neighbors who abuse us hurts us wounds us let us think of how to help them let us listen what jesus told saint faustina to be holy and to fall in love with him and the 13th point which jesus spoke to saint faustina was this jesus said don't put pour out all whatever that you are thinking in your mind don't pour it out in front of others jesus told saint faustina and jesus said if you speak too much the devil will make use of you devil will exploit your conversation so don't put all whatever that is in your mind about every sub subject and topic don't pour it out in front of others because the too much of conversation will bring the influence of the evil very fast and very easy so be very careful and slow to speak and listen more and you will see miracles you will see the protection so this is something which we all need to practice in our daily life the more we converse speak the more uncontrollably we speak we will go uncontrollable and out of control so this is something that we need to be very careful all those who speak uncontrollably will have no control on themselves because double will slowly start controlling them the 14th point which jesus spoke to saint faustina is this when you face abuses criticism hurts wounding comments be silent jesus said when you listen or face abuses criticism hurting comments be silent and then jesus said you have no control on what they say but you have control on what you say you have no control on what others say but you can have control on you what on what you say therefore the lord wants you to be holy in your words so the lord says be silent be silent he will fight for you you don't need to fight for yourself 
you just be silent they have, you have no control on what they say but you have control you can have control on what you say the lord wants you to have control on what you say and he says better silence my dear brothers and sisters the lord is reminding you many of you are not able to fall in love with jesus because of your tongue the lord says speaking unnecessary things unnecessary words swearing words criticizing wounding insulting our own family members hurting many people is one of the reasons why lots of anointing is wasted as god has already spoken to saint faustina and we heard it and now the lord is reminding each and every one of you if you are able to control your tongue in a special way you will receive the gift of anointing gift of god's love in your heart the lord is telling us so be careful about every word that we speak let us pray in a special way so that let everyone be delivered from this bondage of no control on the tongue abba we know that this is the reason many of us are not able to fall in love with you we do speak unnecessarily many unnecessary conversations communications words gossiping criticizing abusing and jokingly hurting others lord we are so sorry for all these through which we are losing lots of anointing we are losing the love of god from our heart we are so sorry for all these lord lord we pray for all these people of god who are attending this live streaming lord if they are also losing their anointing and and the love of god through their unholy use of tongue Lord we pray for deliverance right now all the spirit of unholiness in their tongue their tongue be cleansed right now yes. with the precious blood of Jesus yes. we pray so that you may sprinkle the holy blood upon all the tongues of all these people of God and cleanse everybody right now wash them in the precious blood of Jesus so that let them be able to use their tongue only for holy words and holy conversation and whatever that they come out of their mouth be holy and encouraging and constructive and be healing let every unholy words and bad words abusive language and swearing words let everything be washed away from their tongue right now in Jesus name let them all be set free now in Jesus name in the name of the father and of the son and the holy spirit let everybody worship god singing together gloriously thank you jesus thank you abba father praise you abba father call the name of jesus 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 cleanse the tongue cleanse the tongue deliver everybody from all the unholiness of their tongue cleanse their tongue right now cleanse the tongue of all these people of god cleanse every word that they speak cleanse them out wash them with the precious blood of jesus now in jesus name The Lord is delivering many people from unholy conversations from swearing words the Lord is setting you free now above